And we back. Episode number four. Lizzie with the Glizzy couldn't be with us. Norman couldn't be with us. And we got special guest, Dripper Lay. Back on the pod with us, you know. We in this hole. We so, in this hole. Without further ado, let's start the show. I'm in the fold, so to sleep, I can't fight it. Can't fight Locked it. in my mode, I feel like I'm indicted. Ball turning cold, and I think that I like it. I like Look it. at my drip, got these holes all excited. Yeah, they tried to kill me, the fire ignited, and I be the. And we back. We back. You know what I mean? Back like we never left. We in this hole. Let's start off. Dripper Zay. Give us the first topic. Man, the first topic, man. Gotta be about motherfuckers minding their business, man. No cap. For real. Fact. Everybody minding their business. It's kind of like if everybody knew how to drive, wouldn't be no traffic. You feel me? I don't, I don't think that's a good uh, example. <laughs> if everybody minded their business, everything be smooth. Facts. Just like if everybody knew how to drive, wouldn't be no traffic. You just repeated the same shit you just said. <laughs> Bro, that shit is fake, though, man. Bro, everybody knew how to drive, bro. Because the biggest reason of traffic, people don't know how to get on the freeway, nigga. And <laughs> off the freeway, bro. Uh, nah, for real, though. We already dr- been drinking, people. Because we off the lit. We already been drinking, so we kind of fucked up right now. We recorded an episode before now, but we realized that shit didn't record. Yeah, so, yeah. we saw a note. But yeah. More of the story, what we talking about, first topic we're going to talk about is niggas minding their goddamn business. I guess Drip going to start it off, tell them about, you know, a story about niggas not minding their business, and then give you a synopsis about it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga trying to... Let me give you this yeah. is synopsis. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking try you big words and shit, but goddamn. <laughs> this nigga stupid. Let's, let's, let's take this shot. Come on, let's get it. Man, hell no, nigga. I need a little break, nigga. <laughs> what you talking about? Man, you need a break. Uh, you yeah, all right, man. You still got Warner? A little bit. This the last shot. But hey, fuck it. Go no, ahead. You can talk <laughs> Man, fuck it. Man, this the last one? Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, hey, this nigga, come on, man. Nigga, 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 nigga. Boy, you ugly as hell. Air, air clink. Yeah. talk about <laughs> niggas mind niggas not minding they do so first off you ever like you know been on social media and you seen a nigga that's literally unqualified to talk about what the fuck he talking about whether he talking about a celebrity or he got his little two cents about somebody's relationship or he got his little two cents about like shit that don't pertain to him oh hell let's yeah. talk about that shit right here. so first I'm gonna just give. Nah, you good right there, right there, straight, y'all. So what you was finna talk about is them whole ass niggas that be hearing shit from little Tweety Bird type <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little females running their mouth about some shit, playing Facts. the victim. Facts. And not even explaining what Everything she, going what on. part she had to play in the beef. So whole time it's looking like bro is the the aggressor or the 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 the, the, the antagonist type shit, you know what I'm saying? Antagonist. Antagonist <laughs> in this <laughs> motherfucker. So it's like bro is over here getting heated up type shit. Like she over here like feeding this nigga all this shit. He getting pumped up like what this bitch ass nigga. Oh I'm about to oh oh he hit you? What? 
No, no, nigga ain't need. Nah. Nigga ain't need. Hit the nigga. And he hit the bitch tight shit. And she gonna say he hit her just to get it, bro. <laughs> but nah, it do be female. We not promoting like that, domestic though. violence, people. We not promoting domestic violence. But, boy, I ain't no but. We not promoting domestic violence. We just on, I was specifically just talking about a female saying, oh, this nigga did me wrong. This nigga did this. This nigga did that. Bottom line, females, Stop involving your family members into your relationship. Only reason being is because your family member don't know the whole story. Nine times out of ten, they're going to pick your side whether you're right or wrong. Secondly, like they don't even know all the good shit or the bad attributes that this person has. They only know what you bring up. So if every time they speak to you, or every time they talk to you about this certain individual, you saying all this negative shit, you got X, Y, and Z to say, and all this other shit, then niggas gonna fuck around and get hurt behind you. Behind it, man, ain't no cap. For example, <laughs> if I was in a relationship with somebody, right? For real. And she kept putting our business out to, you know, her families or whatever <laughs> she thinks. Cause she ain't if she ain't from that element, right? Face, bro. Sweet you're not, you're not, bro. bro. You're not you're not from that element, bro. You claim or you your family portray that they from this element, right? You don't know if the person that you're talking about, you don't know everything they've been through. Facts, bro. Snap. In that bro. situation, it's better to keep shit between all two. Because in a situation to where Shit, shit hits the fan. You don't know how that person is gonna react. That person might kill a family member that you love, that you grew up with. With that weight on the shoulder, right. or the boulder, the boulder exactly. on the shoulder is gonna crush your ass no cap. Cause they exactly. weight on the shoulder, it feel like a boulder. <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> Anyway, nah, what we, what we saying today, bro. <laughs> no cap, bro. Yeah, some fucked up thoughts, man. That's what we talking about. Niggas be fucked up, man. You don't know what the fuck niggas got going on. You don't know and what the fuck. And if you pull up on a nigga with that fuck shit, <laughs> nigga might fuck around, snap, smiling at your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Joke up. Joke on they bitch ass, man. man joke on they bitch ass. Nah, real shit. Know, though, what the fuck going on people, with the nigga, bro? It's real wise for you people to like mind your business. Keep bro. other people Stay out of your up, fucking I'm business, waiting, bro. Man, really. Because honestly, you know the good and the person you with. So just because you venting, you could be venting all the bad shit. But at the same time, your family members, they only concerned about you. Yeah. And, let's t- and you can get a oh. fuck nigga hurt because he thinking he finna come and just, and it might not be that. It might not be what niggas thinking it is. So you could be the reason one of your family members end up dead. I say this in the humblest way. You could be the reason one of your family members end up dead because you got emotional. <coughs> And fucking try to, you know, vent to your family members because they don't forget the shit that you forget. <laughs> fam, people don't forget. Bro. If that's the only thing, like, it's been a plenty of times where I done told my homie shit that I don't forgot about. If they ask me about it, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot I told you I was going through that shit. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of shit that you might forget that other people don't. And Anybody that's watching this that feels some type of way, you know why I ain't gonna say that. Anybody that's watching this, just remember, keep your family members out of your personal relationship. Cause what you forget, they might not forget. So let's promote goddamn going to therapy, getting you a sight and being to them so ain't no beef. Unnecessary beef, nigga. Yeah. Like for real, like you can 
these people jive for the for you to vent to them. What you gonna hear talking shit about your partner, the people that uh uh gonna be around them and shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit unhealthy as a relationship, as a partner. You supposed to be uplifting your partner, motherfucking elevating your partner, making your partner look good. But over here, you over here talking down on them. The motherfucking or uh, just to make yourself feel better or so somebody can assure you that you in the right and you not even explaining the whole story type shit. So you basically uh 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 uh, uh cheating yourself out of some assurance. You know what I'm saying? You over here psh, writing the play so somebody can be like, oh, this nigga fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just nigga, like, just yeah. like we was kind of saying Story on the last episode. Type C. Humans always like look because we all human, right? So yeah, everybody you know. looks at their wrongdoings as something small, and they look at everybody else's wrongdoing as something bigger compared to what they did. Everybody likes to sit up here and like be like, "Oh, I did this," but. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get your family members hurt. Please. I'm saying this in the... In the uh, Put the nigga ASAP first, see, put them in the dirt. Yeah, because I will put a nigga in the dirt, bro. Don't play with me. In self-defense, allegedly. Go ahead, what you got to say? Smile, bow. I don't necessarily should always keep you right? <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> you want to just keep talking not ahead, happen over here, bro. I don't necessarily believe that you always have to keep it in between y'all because in certain circumstances you know it might need somebody else's uh, insight on uh, to help you make the right decision on whether or not to keep fucking with that person or not but then at the end of the day it really depends my thing is, uh, don't spread that news to people you know are going to react a certain way. And don't have those people react to a certain individual who, who you know will react to, also, also react a certain way. Because I feel like you're, you're, also, you're also an enabler. Like, you're not really solving anything. You want to see drama. You want to see something happy. You want to see but something pop up. might not off end because, out the way that you wanted to end out. Yeah. Like, Bro. You don't know what people carry. You don't know what people done been through. You don't know what people bro, done when seen. When I tell you that psychological shit, bro, when I tell you I had a, bro, I don't know if it was a dream or a nightmare or vision or whatever. <laughs> bro, I'm on my way sleep, bro, nigga. Having a, whatever the fuck you call this shit, nigga, a promiscuous bean. But a nigga was driving on the freeway, nigga. Nigga, motherfucking, uh, 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 the brakes went out. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was going on a little turn, fighting on to get on the freeway, nigga. Bro, a nigga, motherfucker, flew up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga did like some flips and shit on the highway, bro. Bro, and the nigga like looking, like nigga was fucked up, looking outside the window, bro, like in the distance, bro, like my baby mama was just like. <laughs> Bro, no shit, bro. Like, just looking at a nigga, like, motherfucker, cut a nigga brakes or some shit. And, bro, that was like, I'm ready. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> that was like around the time she was talking all that shit about a nigga. Bro, she used to be the motherfucker on Facebook, nigga. Bro, before a nigga even got a DNA test from my son, but she oh, over here talking. Oh, we not going All oh, this shit. We not, we not, we not. Nigga talking about not person in there with talking. I'm a kid, you nigga. <laughs> Bro. What? All right, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. It's us niggas, man. <laughs> fuck it. Go on here. Nah, all I'm saying is. Bro, don't. I just see this <laughs> shit. <laughs> this nigga been laughing and coking and joking the whole time. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Got it. All I'm saying is, if you gonna talk about anything <coughs> that you're going through, just uh, be careful who you say it to. Don't do it for a reaction. 
and knowing that it's just gonna go down because it might not go down how you want it to go down. You think? Uh, oh, also, don't play victim all the time. If you're gonna talk to somebody, really tell them what you did. And well, I, w I won't even really go as far as saying saying what you did because some people probably go from self blame, but just say what you like honestly what you what you done and what they done because you know it's nothing wrong with venting to your friends it's nothing wrong with venting to your family but it's wrong when you're being vindictive about it because you want something to pop off and that's where that's why i say you have to be careful on who you who you say it to and you have to be truthful you have to be very transparent uh to know what you've done and don't try to beat around the bush about uh, about what you've done is uh what people like to do is when they go to what they said it's like or what they did they don't really say the full thing and then they make it seem like the other person tripping and sometimes it's not like that but then sometimes the other person is tripping so some people they take that information different and they react a certain way especially if it's people who really rock with you because they already going to be biased towards your side honestly uh, a good, actually, a very good uh, topic to bring up is to keep true friends around you. Because somebody who's automatically, I, I know people want, people want uh, individuals around them that are on go, ready to fight after them, all that shit. But sometimes people take advantage of that. They take advantage of that. And it goes back to what I said as far as, you know, playing victim knowing who you're talking to because that person knowing that you know this person is going to react a certain way it, it might not end up the way you want it to end up so <clears throat> keep true friends around you people who are going to tell you the truth when you actually tripping if you're being truthful about yourself and, and about the situation um try to talk to your spouse or whoever you're dealing with because the situation could be anything it could be friendship it could be acquaintance it, whatever the fuck uh, make sure that um, I ain't gonna lie to you I had a brain fart <laughs> <laughs> Hey gonna cap I wanna piggyback off of what you said Keep true friends around you A lot of niggas They walk around with friends That don't necessarily Tell them the truth about themselves mm -hmm. A lot of people walk around With people that they know they gonna pretty much take they back with whatever. I'm just saying, you niggas need to quit doing that shit. Because honestly, your fake friends is going to put you in a predicament where you going to self-destruct and a lot of people not ready to hear that. Yeah. A lot of people, it make them feel good to have people around them that's not going to tell them what's real. Like that's me. what I was going to say. I ain't going to even right. cap. I want somebody that's going to be around me that's going to tell me when I'm fucking up. I want somebody around me that's going to tell me my music ain't good. I want somebody around me that's going to tell me everything that I respect enough to when they tell me, okay, this shit, it, it's not a go. And that's what a lot of people miss. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. A lot of y'all have a bunch of fucking friends that's just gonna say and feel however the fuck you feel. That ain't the right way to go. That's actually the absolute wrong way to go, and that's how you end up self-destructing. Because a lot of famous people, for example, a lot of famous people have a lot of yes men around them. Not because they right, because they got stature. Those friends and acquaintances and shit like that, they want to stay around you because of whatever financial thing you can do for them. And it's just an example. It's deep, like. So a lot of people, you just got to stop having them type of people around you. Mm -hmm. You got to, you got to, um, see, speaking of them people, uh, uh, basically the word I use got them crumb snatchers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chrome Snatcher. Chrome Snatcher, no cap. I've been using that motherfucker, man. You already know that. I'm yeah. thumbing bone going, <laughs> going crazy with it, bro. But, man, I made that song around the time where niggas was being on some weird shit, on some fake ass 
motherfucking using a nigga type shit because they some bun, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that I'm that type of giving person, like, I'm that, bro, a nigga live by that shit, real talk, nigga, like, if you my nigga, bro, I motherfucking give my all if I believe in, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucking nigga, I see, like, I feel like you can motherfucking make it tight shit, nigga, I invest in you tight shit, nigga, some type of way, nigga, you need some, I got you tight shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker wanna manipulate, motherfucker use the nigga, you know what I'm saying, then, unappreciative, you know what I'm saying, then when that shit negatively affect the, the, the giver tight shit, then it's like, they just go, oh, they just, oh, they just, yeah. you know, nigga said that, psh, nigga, well, yeah. this is fade away type shit. It's yeah. like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why nigga don't fuck with nobody now nah, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Certain particulars, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking know who they is for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga still constantly contacting, you know, when you were in the, in the circle for so. Yeah. There's a lot of people that's hitting nigga up. I mean, it get left on red, nigga. Shit, I don't even have no read receipts. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, just look at this shit and just keep it pushing type shit. Yeah. It's a lot of niggas out there with hidden agendas, too. Hidden agendas. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, There's a lot of niggas out there red with tongue. hidden agendas. They say whether a nigga just cool with you because you can do a, something financial for him yeah, or anything. a nigga cool shit. with you because... They can gain okay. off yeah, they, they trying to be cool. Them motherfuckers, because they be lame, bro. Yeah, and they them, be especially lame with them Navy niggas, bro. That's bro, the I'm biggest not. thing, bro. Oh, Bro, shout out the Navy, man. But fuck all them lame ass niggas that be in there, motherfucker, bro. Gang in this whole come on here, slide through. We gonna edit this bitch out. Yeah, we do it. And we back, ho ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Ho ass nigga, bitch ass nigga, if you ain't laughing, you a fuck nigga anyway. So we don't give a fuck. Yeah, fuck nigga, you know what I'm saying? But shit, what's up with these uh, motherfuckers, bro? Like, why can't motherfuckers just fuck with you, bro, off the strength? Knowing you a real nigga, bro, why motherfuckers gotta wait till motherfuckers is popping, bro, to be like, oh, okay, now nah, I fuck with you. Why the hell niggas can't be on some? Loyal shit these days, man. What the hell going on? It's like yeah, people be what's the word I'm looking for? People be uh 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 crumb snatchers. Crumb that's all, snatchers, that's all, that's bro. all we call them. Oh, bro, oh god, they crumb snatchers, bro. Why like, do these niggas be crumb snatchers? Crumb snatchers, bro. bro. That nigga just like, be waiting at the bottom, bro, yeah. bro, for something to happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bro, you hey, over bro, here? I see what you doing, bro. You over here eating, bro? You bro. over here, bro? They crumb, they over here following you, <laughs> nigga, bro. Oh, God, when well, they following you, the crumbs trail. Bro. And then when the crumbs get bigger, cause nigga eating more, then they want to be like, oh, nigga, what's up? Can I get a plate here, there? Nah, fuck bro, that, Bro, like, nigga. what, nigga? Hey. Why can't nigga just be lower from the jump, nigga? That's why I don't understand, bro. It's like, Dang. nigga, like, I be feeling like a nigga trying to be campaigning, smooth by shit, like, real talk. I'm trying, bro, I'm talking about, like, like smooth back in fire. the time, he, he bro, my nigga bro, bro. for that smooth and fire, bro. bro I'm trying to be that. out there in the street. Like, I'm talking about with the shit, stickers, niggas, pie, niggas, joints, nigga, all that shit outside with the nigga. Like, if you active, need bro. cannabis based product, get my nigga drip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gonna get you saying? right. Pies. The nigga got pies. The nigga got actual regular weed, nigga. That nigga got anything you want. Hit my nigga yeah, drip yeah, up, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 His contact gonna be in the description, man. Yeah, in the description below, bro. Like I'm saying, bro. Like I'm really that nigga, bro. Not even on some conceited shit, but like, I'm really uh, invested a hundred thousand percent in my product, bro. And like motherfuckers, it's not. Or uh, uh, they on the fence type shit. Like they, the type of people that be like, oh, this nigga hit. They on some. We gonna yeah, sit in the back in the casino and watch these niggas gamble type shit. These niggas hit. We gonna slide over 
Entire city, they win hey, it like, on hey, anything. I, I was fucking with you at yeah, first. Yeah, entire, yeah. I was fucking, yeah, with, I was fucking yeah. with you, bro, when you was motherfucking. Yeah. Bro, I was right there hyping you up, type shit. But then if you lose, and I'm like, oh, man. That nigga over there, motherfucker. That nigga <laughs> motherfucking losing like a motherfucker, bro. No cap, bro. And that's how I feel a lot of people is these days, bro. No bullshit, nigga. Because I don't fuck with people really. But because I sit back, bro, and I just be high, nigga. I just be in the whip smoking, nigga, peeping shit, bro, and I just be seeing shit, bro, and I just be like, man, this shit crazy, bro, how niggas be uh, perpetrating, nigga, your motherfucking infiltrating, niggas, uh, uh, clicks and shit, and fucking shit up, cause niggas be gay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> cause niggas the gay community, bro. bro I mean? like that, bro, for real. Hey, man. Niggas be a peon, bro, for bro. real, like. Niggas be dead ass peons and it's up to you bosses to like look at that shit and figure it out. Like, you know if somebody a peon or not. Bro, you know you real. know if somebody a, a sneak hater or not. You just gotta yeah, weather that you shit. You can feel out. that shit, bro, you can for feel, real. You can feel bro. the energy coming off of somebody, bro. Especially if you been crossed with folk, nigga. No I'm saying that bro. shit is super easy, bro. bro. That shit like a six cents for real. What you think about that shrimp game? You got a six cents like that? I have no idea to be honest with you. What? I just go on. I just. <laughs> just living life. <laughs> um, from what y'all was talking about, somebody can be starting a business and they shit might be booming. They shit might not. Who knows? Uh, some friends are. They could be the good friends, but they're not to that. They're not to that level where they can be honest with you and give you construct, constructive criticism. And then also, there are people who can't take it. <clears throat> so I feel like sometimes that's a that's a very very extremely subjective subject as far as wanting support from the people who you want. Because I mean, I mean, who doesn't? I mean. It's basic human uh, human nature not to gravitate so towards something that's not really popular. So there are some people, like people who they kind of call hipsters or whatever the fuck. There's people who, you know what I'm saying, been rocking with somebody since they started. And there's some people who jump on the bandwagon. And then there's some people who literally just kind of like, okay, did never knew about this person. And they found out yeah, when they was yeah, popping. Yeah, it's like, oh, this dude, cool. Didn't even know who you were, how you started, but they know. And then they look back they, on that shit. If they fuck with you type shit, then they start to look back and oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? See the growth. And yeah. then they fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with that. I don't necessarily yeah, think it's all, it's totally a bad thing to sit on the sidelines. But excuse me, I'm sorry. But if you're if you're somebody's homeboy, if you're if you've been rocking with somebody from the beginning, I do think to a certain extent, it is bad to just sit there on the sideline and then wait for somebody to be popping and then be like, yo, you made it, bro. Like, hold yeah, up, where the yeah, fuck was you at when yeah, I was, you know, when I started? Man, nigga, no, so man, if you was shit. there, like, I mean, granted, yeah, say, shit, say if you would, shit, say, nigga. say, you know what I'm saying, you know, you show somebody a song, you know what I'm saying, you just started. And everybody listening to it, but they're like, this shit, yeah, that this shit is. hard, that shit hard, bro. <laughs> but they don't really mean that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it really goes based on what she was saying. Yeah, like I need people yeah. who can tell me, like, yo, this shit ain't this shit ain't hard. You this know what I'm saying? Shit ain't but at the end of the day though, at the end of the day though, what I might not like or what that person might not like, somebody else might love that shit. For oh, real, that's really how it is. So deep, it's bro. very that's real. why I say it's very subjective because it depends on the people who you keep around. It depends on your audience. It depends on uh how much you, you know what I'm saying, the advertise your shit, like, like what platforms. That's why, like, everybody, when you see people who are, like, already famous, boy, they got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitch. all types of motherfucking yeah, shit, you know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to go all, off of all audiences. They 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 go to different people. They don't just go to their homeboy. They go to just random folks. Like, hey, man, come, you know, like, that's the hustle that comes into, you know, making it to the top. And... The reason why I keep on stressing 
on the fact that it's subjective because some people don't want to do that work. They feel like they're doing that much work and then expect people to fuck with them just because, like, when you said that, oh, yeah, then why don't they fuck with a real nigga? Sometimes, I mean, you can be as real as you want, but maybe your friends is like, bro, I mean, you want to do this, but I feel like you better at this. Or I don't really think this is your thing. You know what I mean? Fuck them niggas. They, they, they haters. But they was actually telling you the truth. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that these folks right here not fucking with your shit. There might be some niggas that don't even fucking know you from a can of paint, but really fuck with your shit and make your shit famous. Yeah, and yeah. there's niggas who, there's niggas who are really abandoning their true friends just because they had their specific opinion and fuck with niggas that don't even fucking like them. And I feel like that's very superficial. And then they wind up changing themselves to acclimate to the people that they, uh, or to the audience that had made them pop. And those are the niggas that don't have a, enough longevity <clears throat> because now you're fucking with people who don't even know you just because they're fucking with your shit. You know, you went back to your homies and your homies were telling you, nah, that shit trash. But you go with them, like, nah, they really fuck with me. They fuck with me like this bro, instead of being like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they go, they, they that's, with the dick that's, riders. That's the they the dick bro. riders and the bandwagoners because bro. they're giving them that attention that they want. Because oh, and shame. I feel like honestly. If that's the case, then whatever you're doing, it really isn't something that you love to do. And your friends who you asked in the beginning who told you that shit was trash are probably telling you the motherfucking truth and you should have been rocking with them. <laughs> and you should have been telling and you should have been looking within yourself to try to make make it better to where it's like, you know what, I'm a, you know what, I know my, my homies ain't gonna fucking lie to me, let me do this. But then there's also some times where your homies might be hating on you. Bro, that's the biggest thing, bro. That's why I say it's very, it's very subjective. Bro, so something like that is not... Can I go it's, off of that, bro? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Crazy, bro. Bro, talking about that shit when niggas hating on you, bro. The same niggas that told me to start rapping, bro. The same niggas that tried to... Bro, these niggas ain't no rapper, bro. When I start rapping, these niggas, they ain't even support a nigga. They the one that when I first... My nigga was freestyle. They like, yeah, bro, that's hard. You just record that shit. These niggas trying to rap all of a sudden and shit. These niggas trying to be better than a nigga instead of, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, supporting a nigga, playing their role type shit. These niggas trying to be right. These niggas trying to be uh, uh, more. They trying to buy these Gucci and uh, design the shit to pull more holes and trying to compete with a nigga and shit. Like, nigga, what nigga? Who the hell on that shit? Like, bro, like, you over here trying to compete, nigga. I'm trying to help everybody eat type shit. Like, mm -hmm. that's why I don't understand why niggas be hating. They don't really be on some loyal shit. These niggas ain't grow up with them loyal morals type shit. These niggas grow up with some uh, uh, dick riding, motherfucking bitch made morals type shit for real. That come from niggas that's jumping on the wave. That's where I think social media influences a lot of people's minds into like jumping on the wave. Like a lot of people don't necessarily even know what they like. Mm -hmm. They just go with That's whatever the, key, the fuck. Bro, right there. They, they don't just, know what they like, yeah, bro. They just go with whatever the fuck is popping right now. And they just be like, oh, that shit hard. That shit hard. But a lot of these niggas, you got to. That's why you got to weed out your circle. That's what circles back. You got to weed out your circle. Because a lot of niggas don't even know. Like, they just, like, going with whatever is popping at the time. And a lot of times, the shit that's popping, that shit, like what you said, is superficial. It's fuck. Because they just going with whatever the fuck is popping at the time. So, they going to fucking misguide you and be, like, telling you, like, other shit. Also, on the other hand of it, we gonna switch subjects. Certain niggas don't know what the fuck is they like fucking passion. Certain niggas don't know what they talent is. Certain niggas don't know like, okay, you're not good at this. It's a lot of my homies rapping. They suck. <laughs> Just point blank, they suck. I ain't for me saying no names. <laughs> but. They got, they not around real people that's going to tell them, all right, bro, you kind of suck, bro. They just around niggas that's just like, all right, whatever. Like, oh, yeah, that shit hard. Not even really listening to it. They just going, going off of whatever the fuck, you know, they feel like is good. It's a lot of niggas that actually suck, bro. 
if you my friend and you suck at rapping, I'm going to tell you, bro, you fucking suck, bro. And you can't get mad at me. It's the Control truth. Them niggas. A lot of a lot of niggas just be like, nah, nigga, bro, this shit hard, bro, blah, 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 blah. If everybody telling you you suck, nigga, you suck. Why not? Nigga but here's here's where I say that if, with that subject, it's very very extremely subjective. Um, with the explanation or not explanation, the um, example that I gave earlier. You know, I, you can be telling me I suck, but Trey and him might be fucking with my shit, and then no, I wind that's up. That's not what no, I'm talking about. No, 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 never mind. All right, go ahead. If you making weak ass cover arts, bro, and the <laughs> shit look like the shit look yeah. like you cut it out and pasted it on the fucking background and put some words in it, the whole shit look trash, bro. Would you not want me to tell you the shit look trash? You literally just said because that's not what I'm talking about. Even anymore. even even if you're saying, oh, this person liked it and this person liked it, that don't necessarily mean it's good. That just could possibly mean that somebody looked at that cover art, knew it was trash, and still told your ass, oh yeah, bro, it's good, bro, keep going. Okay, but if that shit winds up blowing up, then what? If it you said up, you said like that's why that's why I'm trying to say subjectiveness. Like, you really can't, there is no right or wrong way or no def, indefinite way of success when it comes to something like that because everybody has different opinions. Just like, even though, and I, I gave this example, if your homeboys, people who are fucking with you heavy and they listen to your shit and they say that shit is trash, but these folks, these group of folks right here saying that shit is cool and he wound up blowing up, Automatically, uh, the normal person would probably think, "Oh, y'all some haters, y'all some haters." But you literally was like, "Bro, that shit was tra-. like," and it, it probably really was. And there are there are projects out there, there are songs out there, there are there are artists out there who are truly trash, in my opinion. But they are making way more money than me. Within they are they are now. living the life, and that's what I'm trying to say. Is very subjective. You can't sit here and say, "Oh." Well, I need some people to tell me when I'm trash, or if you show me something and it's trash, I'm going to tell you. I mean, that's cool, but that doesn't mean that that person can't blow up with what with the skill set that they have at that point in time. And whether it's the truth or not, and, well, what I'll say is your truth or not, there's a possibility that, that shit still might go on. So there's some people out there who play devil's advocate, and it's just like, you know what, I don't like it, but somebody else might. But, and if they see the passion and this and this is remember remember in the beginning this is what this was in the beginning of the of the when we previously tried to record this episode oh, Genesis what were you talking about <laughs> okay you previously said something in like when we when we tried to record the first time and you said that people <laughs> join relationships when and they don't even know themselves. Face, bro. So there's people who join the music, but they know themselves. I it might not be my taste in music, but if you know yourself and you put passion into it, it might reach to somebody else. Bro, like, and it takes it takes a real friend to not only like because you don't always have to fuck with with every fucking song that somebody like every yeah, I don't fuck with all your songs, but best believe nice. if if it came to it and you needed support, I'm gonna show that support. I might share something. I might even do whatever you know what I'm saying because it might show. there might be somebody in my friends list that that with that song you know i don't fuck with that song yeah. so at the end of the day yes i can be truthful to you and tell you hey man i don't really fuck with that song but that don't I mean don't that there's some other people it. it's like damn near billions of people in the world there might be some other niggas that fuck with your shit heavy and if they do then i'm gonna support you but i'm still gonna be that friend and try to get to el- to, to get you to elevate and get better at your craft so that your it creates you versatility in your art but <laughs> at the same time <laughs> At the same time, it's a lot of people that's putting out universal trash. And they're not listening to anybody. If I was putting out universal trash, you should tell me that I'm putting out trash. I don't give a fuck if I believe it or not. I will still respect that opinion of you saying, hey, nigga, that shit was trash. But that would take you knowing yourself. But a lot of people. But don't if you know don't, themselves. if you, that, 
Bro, I already said my ass was trash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, I ain't I trash, bro. I put out some that. trash music, no cap. Like that Liddy nah, song, bro. That shit is trash. <laughs> that nigga Tonic be, t- be, be, be piping that shit up, bro. bro be, like, oh, this shit going, this shit go. Well, that nigga be nodding that bro. shit to him. That shit y'all finna draw, that shit finna be hard. Nigga, no cap, bro. That nigga Surge <laughs> got a project coming out. So that a nigga Surge, man. <laughs> For this song we got with that nigga, bro. Fire. <laughs> Fire. Y'all laughing, but <laughs> it's only people who probably actually think it's funny. <laughs> that's and that's funny, another thing bro. that they I was going to like, oh, this nigga at the end. <laughs> they were like, that nigga is just trash. <laughs> the nigga drip is there. <laughs> Come on, bro. Chill out. Shout oh, out yeah. to my nigga. This nigga don't count. <laughs> this nigga's just drunk. Bro, no. But yeah, count, shout bro. out to my nigga. Boot it up, man. nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga, sir. Bro, for real. That nigga be grinding, nigga. That nigga, that nigga on probate. On probate. <laughs> shout out to my nigga, sir. Well, that nigga me. said. Nigga. <laughs> For allowing me. He's still passing the strap. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Sir for allowing me to put his track list together or whatever. <laughs> the shit gonna be hard when it come out, man. March 1st. Shout March out that boy Sir is going down. Yeah, man. It's going down. But what would you finna say? Shrimp Listen, Gang. Shrimp Gang in this hoe. I forgot. I ain't gonna lie to you. Steak and Shrimp. Amnesia, shout out to the nigga Amnesia. Amnesia do cover arts? Hell yeah. You know, are they good? They're my whole straight for real. He did, he the one that did that. What, what was the song you did with his beat that he released? All them hoes he did them hoes. He did one with you with some shades on or something. And you were looking to the side. And then that nigga was like he put a little background to it. It was like you was talking about some real shit with that nigga. Oh, that don't let go. Yeah, that yeah, don't let go. That shit, bro. Everybody talking that was their favorite song type shit. I hate when the nigga say their favorite song is your worst song. But you know, what I you mean, feel like is your worst I, song. Yeah, I feel like this shit is my worst. But everybody like, yeah, I fuck with it because you just talking about some real shit. Nah, nah, it's shit. I ain't gonna lie, I was high as hell one day and I was walking around and I had my, that shit just came on. And I, I'm like, yeah, this shit is kind of hard for real. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes with me, I gotta go back and get that shit a second and listen type shit or a couple more listens. Like yeah. my nigga NGYL, you know what I'm saying? That nigga go crazy, bro. But Sometime when this album drop, I listen to that shit. I'm like, man, this shit trash. <laughs> Come but on, then man. I, <laughs> Come on, but man. then I listen to it again. I'm like, damn, this shit hard in the bitch. <laughs> Every time, bro, it never fail, bro. One thing about music, bro, you gotta pass the ear test and you gotta pass the bar test. First, you gotta yeah, pass yeah. the ear test. Yeah. After you pass the ear test, you gotta pass the bar test. What the bar test is. The bar test is like testing your bar, like, okay, this, it sounds good, but now what what are you actually saying? Yeah. <clears throat> That's what a lot of niggas don't don't really get. This nigga texting bad and shit. <laughs> you in love, nigga? Bro, we talking about mind your business the whole podcast, mm-hmm. man. That's crazy. Bro, what? <laughs> We on the nigga ass, bro. bro. Real talk. Nah, real nigga, shit, bro. Man, if a trade, nigga, we just talking about that. Bro, real <laughs> shit, bro. Mind y'all business, man. Mind y'all business. <laughs> but I do got another topic, right? Mm-hmm. With a shot at. Ain't no more shots, man. But we ass nigga, man. Drip tape 2.5 coming out. Let these niggas know, man. Man, I'm with that shit for hey, real, you, man. You already know King Emery on that hoe. 
Bro, you the only nigga I really fuck with in this rap game. Shit, for real, man. Bro, you already know King right now. That Drill Kings 2 coming that out, too. Drill Kings 2 gotta come hard on that bitch, for real. That nigga Franco gotta produce that, ho. Franco. Come on, man. Shout out to that nigga Franco on the beat. Yeah, that nigga hard. Y'all hear some of Nah, because it's still right by the phone. Y'all say y'all hear it, though? Nah, but that's they what I'm saying. Though. Like, That's why you shouldn't listen to random people when you making music, especially other artists. Because it's like, you don't, if you don't know how their music sounds, and you just going by what they think is cool, then that's going to fuck up your sound. Like, in this certain situation, this artist is not hard at all. And what are you talking about? That? I said you drip a day, then you get traded. Shut up, nigga. Hey, we do got to start wrapping this shit up. I ain't gonna watch this time. Fuck that. We went on a huge tangent, and we wound up listening to that music and shit. Kind of took a lot of time, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? listen to that shit. Who listened to that shit? That shit killed the whole vibe. You, nigga. Nah, nigga. You, you said this shit to the nigga. <laughs> you you yeah. brought that nigga up, though. You brought that nigga up, bro. I swear to God, bro. Bro, hell no. That was your ass. Bro, I said, yeah, Tony, that nigga, bro. He the goat, nigga. You just, <laughs> this nigga hit me, bro. This nigga bring you these white folks to the studio. <laughs> you nigga look like, uh... It's a call the strip club promoter and shit, bro. I was like, what the hell with these niggas, bro? I remember bro, that nigga, that nigga say, that nigga say, he hey, I ain't gonna be. That was a real specific. <laughs> the fact that I know what he's talking about makes this exa- really funny, but I want to laugh. Nah, these niggas, oh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Dude, 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 bro. <laughs> these, it was one time, bro. These niggas pull up to the studio, right? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna be your security. I brought my little brother. Bro, these, these niggas, niggas look like so regular shit. niggas. These niggas look like the Blues Brothers. Bro, they look bro. like regular niggas, bro. Uh-huh. And these niggas told me, like, yeah, we want to be your security, bro. We real business. Like, I was like, all right, whatever. Come on in. These niggas came through trying to be cool. Carriage. I did every over there. They said, yeah, man. I was trying to make them feel good. It's Triple D, the Bulldog, security gang. Did you, did you tell them that they were straight? Huh? Did you tell them that they didn't look like a security guard? Yeah, no. I he didn't. was going with long with Wouldn't it. that contradict what you said earlier? Exactly, right. bro. This nigga. You sat there and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all cool with now, woo, woo. But what if they actually become like a multi-million Exactly, bro. Dollar, like, on the fence ass now nigga, you gonna be bro. like, hey, you remember me? You remember no, me? I'm not. I remember how you started, my nigga. Like you remember bro, me? And then now you gonna be the same people? You gonna be one of the same people, people, you you people, the same people that you was just talking about? Not so nigga, you no wait. This nigga started out talking about him. I was just saying I invited these niggas to the to the damn studio. Now this I nigga keep it like, real, bro. bro. These niggas. Cause I keep it real, bro. You know how I do, nigga. That was our first time seeing them niggas. Exactly, bro. So we, we, the both, rip, we both the didn't. Rip. We both didn't say nothing. We were both bro, just off like, the rip, I'm really. like, who is the hell is these <laughs> niggas, bro? Looking like the guy. No, you bro. didn't, bro. Bro, yes, I did. No, you you even just said, bro, I fired them niggas up, bro. No. Bro, I say you firing these niggas up now. Oh, bro, I fired them niggas I up. I swear to God, you just said you just said Moses, bro. You didn't say nothing when they. Bro, I swear I did, did, bro. I swear, bro. These bro. niggas had suits on, nigga. Exactly why I roasted there, bro. On some dudes, they yeah, com- company type shit, niggas. Yo, bro. I swear to God, look at your ticket. <laughs> a dude did. Are that video? Uh, Black Lives Matter shit. Oh, I thought you talking about on the stage type shit. No, look at your phone right now. I sent you Deuce Dare video, bro. Shout out to that nigga Deuce Dare, man. Hey, bro, and that Sherlato you was smoking mm-hmm. on, that shit, 40 or 8, bro. Oh, you did. Some gas for the low. That's some good price. Oh, no, that, this was hard. This was actually good. 
The dispensary should be on He's saying he was good, shit. bro. The dude, good. No, I'm talking about the dude who did the... You're talking about this one, right? Yeah. The dude who actually did the actual, like... What is that? Spoken word? Like, yeah. this was actually dope. That's dude's dad. Bro, yeah, that nigga bro. got word. That new dude's dad shit. Fire, nigga. I wouldn't say it's fire, but... It was. It wasn't bad at all. It wasn't. I wasn't. I don't know. Let me listen to it again. Nah, that nigga. That nigga was on. Cause like shit. I really like I was listening to this shit and I did. I I think I was just tired of the narrative, the narrative that he was building off of. I was kind of tired of that. But like, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. Like he he came with some. He came with some good little bars here and there. Like I, I fucked with him a little bit. Hold on. I'm gonna see this. These days, when niggas weren't allowed, niggas get loud often. For peace sakes, we need breaks. Are we picking peppers or coffins? I can't oblige, won't abide, while I gotta breathe with caution. Are we safe? I know, bae, just please be cautious. What she say? Same story that we saw can't be me on the freeway. Are we safe? It's cush smoke if I'm coughing. Six feet from me, you still think you'd have caught it. I need distance. Why be social if we the enemy every time we vocal? This ain't a free state. Cold shoulders could replay off the backs of free slaves. The type of sweep that decays. Don't sleep on the PJs, the TPs, or the 3Ks. Thanksgiving from three trays and not a celibate holiday. Got niggas screaming out free hate on a sex tape these days. Are we straight? Well, I know I am because I got to be. Because you can't reach the top if you the type to bottom feed. We focused on what we gotta do instead of who we gotta be. It's more niggas with change than more niggas with property. So what's changed? I'm praying that we have, that a cop won't be quick to pop my nigga at the corner shop or bust at the A-Rab. Are we safe? Are we great? You gotta ask yourself, just don't be late. Cause history repeats while we procreate. So let's be professional so the problems that we face won't be our seed's fate. Yeah, we safe. I'm willing to bet. But don't call it gambling, cause the risk worth taking only provide more chances. So redirect your energy, collect your remedy, respect our lineage and protect your symmetry. Don't expect no sympathy, do less things timidly, invest in divinity and we bless till infinity. Aren't we great? That shit was hard. It was good. I can't even count. Like it wasn't, it was, that's what I'm saying, like, the, I'm, I might maybe... There's something about him that I don't know. That I've met him in person. He, he might be here next podcast. Next podcast, he gonna be on. Okay. My nigga Deuce Dad, you did your shit. But on the end note, this has been episode four. We just in this hole. We off the sea. We off the lit. Off the lit. Off the lit. We, we off the lid, man. Oh, Shout out to everybody that watched this episode. I know, you know, we dragged a little bit, but at the end of the day, we lit at the end of the day. We recorded the episode before. She got deleted, so we recorded this one. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. Hopefully, y'all enjoy what we was talking about. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You got anything to say to the people? Follow me on King Emery, MMN. We in this all. Yeah, so I'm follow you. Man, they know where to follow me, nigga. Fish is dripping, say, nigga. I don't want to fall for the sleep, I can't fight it Locked in my mode, I feel like I'm indicted All turning cold and I think that I like it Look at my drip, got these hoes all excited They try to kill me, the fire ignited And I beat the bullet, these niggas ain't like me They think I'm a demon, I'm really enlightened When I hit the block, I hit harder than Tyson I don't want to fall for the sleep, I can't fight it